I welcome you on the do-it-yourself channel. Today I want to tell you about one interesting glue that was very popular in the past and which you can easily cook yourself. This is celluloid glue. Celluloid plastic was very popular with manufacturers of plastic toys. Those shiny dolls from the 70s were made of celluloid. I found pen pongs balls. Now celluloid dissolves in acetone. It took more than an hour for the bow to dissolve in acetone. Acetone evaporates quickly. It's better to use it. I have not used this glue, so I decided to test the glue and glue several items from different materials. I tried to glue uh, matches to boards, paper and boards to a galvanized steel plate. The gluing speed was rather slow, about 10 hours. This is not surprising, since this is an old generation glue. Now glues are being glued, which are glued almost instantly. But you cannot make instant glue yourself. You have to spend a lot of time in the process of dissolution. The celluloid becomes soft, then thick end, which steering, which acetone, becomes more and more liquefied. I tried to glue two matches. The result was not bad. I was able to pick up a whole box of matches. Now I need to mix the glue well to get a uniform consistency. Now I need to test the glue. I started to try to glue the house of matches. Thanks to a thick consistency, glue holds matches well in their place. Now I will in 10 hours. I try to break the glued objects. The best thing was to glue the wooded objects, as it has a porous structure. I will assume that you can glue plastic items, but only from that plastic that lends itself to dissolving in acetone. If the glue is withered, then it can be restored by adding a little acetone. So, in terms of its properties, this adhesive is suitable for gluing various models of plastic and wood. If you need a different color glue, then you need to find a product of celluloid of the same color. That's all. Goodbye.